Hello, everyone. Hello, Valencia. And hello to everyone watching online. I'm very excited to be here. My name is Lee Tran. I'm with Casten by Veeam. We focus on Kubernetes management, backup, and disaster recovery. And for the next couple of minutes, I'd like to talk about the challenges that surround building open source community and what we at Casten and the community can do to help. As a developer, as many of us are, means leveraging a modern development stack that is built upon open source project. And as we know, for a great idea to turn to great project, it relies on the community for adoption, for feedback, and for contribution. Therefore, whenever possible, it's important for us to consume and then contribute back to the open source project so that the ecosystem that we know now can continue to grow and thrive. Well, in the open source world, consumers are also contributors. So we flip the perspective a little bit and ask ourselves, what are the challenges that our contributors might face? What might be hindering us from contributing more to open source projects? When we ask ourselves these questions, some of the challenges, concrete challenges start to bubble up. Things like, when do you get to work on open source projects? Or what is there to work on? How do we make sure that our work is impactful and meaningful? Or how do we get on board? And if we have any of these questions, where do we ask? Well, we're here to help. I'd like to talk about four initiatives that Casten have actively taken to address these challenges. The four initiatives are time, having a clear vision, having training resources, and the philosophy of open source first. First and foremost, time. Let's start by providing our employees with the time for upstream contribution. And this should be an open and rewarding experience that is supported and encouraged by employers. For example, at Casten, our developers have the opportunity for continuing upstream to projects like Kubernetes, Copia, Coopster, and others. And speaking of others, for the next couple of initiatives, I'd like to use a concrete example. So let's take a look at Canister, which is an open source project at, Ca at Casten. Um, Canister is an extensible open source framework for application level data management Kubernetes. And at Canister, we focus on community improvement by making sure that the project is inclusive to all and that the community have the right amount of support. So going back to our list of initiatives, the second initiative I'd like to talk about is having a clear vision, which means providing a clear path with things like project governance, contributing guidelines, and roadmap so that our contributors can understand how to get their work submitted fast and easy. For example, at Canister, there's a project governance that outlines the role and responsibility of the project so that someone new to Canister can understand where their work and the contribution may land them on the contributor path. There's also contributing guidelines with technical documentations like coding standard that we adhere to or what is the process of submitting pull request so that new contributor to the organization can submit their work fast and easy. And of course, there's a roadmap. If folks are ever wondering what to work on in Canister, they can visit the Canister roadmap that outlines the future milestone of the project as well as all of the current open issues that are classified with labels so that folks can understand how or what to work on and or pick your very first issue. And I'm happy to say that we've seen concrete results since the initiative of having a clear vision have been implemented. We've seen a, an increased number of external contributors. We've also seen the fruit of collaboration between our internal team and external contributors. Together, we've developed a blueprint for a production application. And now that blueprint is available for anyone to use, which is awesome. The third initiative I'll talk about today is having training resources. that have the necessary training to get folks onboarded to the projects and also provide a safe space for discussion and for questions. To serve this purpose, Canister have extensive getting started documentation. The hello world of Canister, if you will, with things like readme page, online YouTube video with demos so that folks can get started with the Canister project. There's also a great community space. We meet twice a month for everyone to come together to discuss their work as well as ask questions. 
And if there's any need for in-between communication, asynchronous communication, there's a Slack channel at canister.slack.com. And the last initiative I would like to talk about today is the philosophy of open source first, which means we should always consume open source projects directly upstream and likewise develop our contribution out in the open and make it visible for the community to see. And that's my time. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you.